Oh, we've got an emergency, everybody. I want to welcome you back to today's video on the state of credit card debt in the United States. I'm sad to say that in the second quarter of 2023, total credit card debt has reached a staggering $1.03 trillion as reported by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. And this marks the seventh consecutive quarter year over year growth in credit card balances. We are doing a terrible job, folks. These numbers are quite concerning and they absolutely warrant everybody's attention. Experts are anticipating a significant challenge coming up for cardholders, especially when student loan payments resume this fall. The impact is expected to be substantial as collectively Americans now owe over $1 trillion on their credit cards alone, not even counting all the other debts people are carrying. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York's report on this, credit card debts rose by nearly 5% or approximately $45 billion with a B in the second quarter, reaching a new record high. These are not records we want to be breaking, folks. While delinquency rates are still relatively low, all things considered, rising balances pose a potential challenge for borrowers going forward, particularly in light of the resumption of student loan payments. You know, there's higher interest rates on other debts right now and high overall costs of living are all likely big reasons for the usage by so many people. Matt Schultz, he's the chief credit analyst over at LendingTree. He warns that the resumption of student loan payments will create a significant test for many cardholders and the reduced available funds might leave some individuals unable to even make their minimum payments on their credit cards. In fact, Schultz highlights that the current $1 trillion in credit card debt is already staggering enough, and unfortunately, it's likely going to continue getting worse and growing from here. After a notable slowdown back in, in 2020, mostly caused because of the stimulus that everybody was receiving, credit card balances have steadily grown for the past seven consecutive quarters. And this growth has primarily been driven by strong consumer spending. Imagine that, people are out there still spending despite higher prices and the inability to afford. Joel Scali, he's a, a regional economic principal over at New York Fed, commented on this trend stating that the credit card balances saw brisk growth in the second quarter while delinquency rates have actually normalized to pre-pandemic levels, which is a bad thing. This means that things are actually taking a worse, a turn for the worse on repayments as well. And another concerning aspect is the continuously increasing average credit card interest right now. Guess what? It is sitting at a disgusting, disgusting 20%. We're talking predatory here. And this makes credit cards one of the single most expensive ways that you can borrow money. I cannot stress this enough. You should never, ever, and I mean ever, ever, ever borrow money from anywhere, especially a credit card, unless, and this is a big unless, it's being safely used for something that you're confident will earn you more money than the loan is costing you, which means that you better take advantage when it comes to credit cards of low to 0% interest rates, because unless you can top 25 or 30% annual rates of return, then you're not going to make more than it costs you. Now, if you wanna see how I recently borrowed $100,000 to participate in a completely passive real estate project that's on pace to pay me 39% over just a six month timeline, which is a 78% annualized return, by the way, check the link in the description below. Now that my friend is what we call leverage. And when you hate debt as much as I do, you don't just sit around and stay in debt and allow it to revolve every month unless the returns are continuous and larger than what it's costing. The debt should be repaid as quickly as mathematically possible by using your initial starting cash flow position and you combine that with the earnings from the assets that you're purchasing and you pay the damn debt off. No new monies should be borrowed, again, unless you find another opportunity that you can invest in in order to repeat that process. And this is a road to wealth. This is the Robert Kiyosaki method combined with Dave Ramsey's attack of debt, aggressive attack. Now this specifically applies to consumer items. So don't spend money on consumer items by using debt. Oh, and be ready because it's not gonna get easier, friends. The harsh reality is that unless you're independently wealthy already, you have got to be investing actively or you're doomed. You simply have to. Life is 
quickly becoming unaffordable for more and more households. And I'm sad to say it, I've had a lot of conversations with people this year alone who are already feeling like they're barely hanging on. Here's an example of how the dominoes keep on falling. Ted Rossman, he's a senior industry analyst over at Bankrate. He warns that the sudden need to resume substantial monthly student loan payments may directly or indirectly lead to even more credit card debt and then defaults. In response to this impending issue, the Biden administration has implemented relief measures already. They're already predicting this problem. And this is to help borrowers cushion the blow of resuming these payments. The measures include a 12 month, what they're calling on ramp to repayment and an income driven repayment plan that can potentially cut monthly payments in half or even possibly eliminate them. Now, additionally, the administration is exploring the possibility for canceling student loan debts under a completely different law, but with year after year of promises, along with cracks opening up and glaring warning signs, you had better not be sitting around waiting for anyone to come and save you. You will have absolutely nobody to blame but yourselves if you're not taking action as quickly as possible. Be sure to subscribe for more super important critical credit card updates and how to both protect yourself from the various traps that banks set to make money from consumers. I'll be sure to put a few links in the description for you. I'll put a, a link to a popular video on how we attack and pay off credit cards the right way in order to avoid huge future interest costs. Another link to a video uh, showing a resource for only responsible credit card users. No irresponsible individuals should even watch that link, but it's showing how you can access up to six figures in different types of lines of credit, credit cards and loans that you can use to build wealth with. It's a quick approval. And according to them, the application doesn't even affect your credit at all. And finally, I'll be sure to include a link to the video that mentioned that I mentioned at the top of the episode showing how I used $100,000 of leverage last month to participate in the prefer passive real estate flip method and expecting a 39% a return on my money in just six months. Subscribe to the channel if you want more great resources and information. Until we see you on the next video, make it a great day today and keep on cash flowing.